somebody set an attack back there. <laughs> if I told you that our first guest was somebody who cheated on her husband, and then had her husband cheat on her, and afterwards, she got bulimia and started to scar herself and went on television to tell the story. With coming here, you'd go, oh, another one of those sleazy talk shows. But if I said that was Princess Di, which is exactly what she did, right? What would you say? Because she's a princess, that's so different. Well, I'm bringing this up because her story is related to the stories you're going to hear today. Maybe not in economic class, but the royal family wanted to get her out of the way. And she said, I won't leave quietly. She's causing quite a few problems for Prince Charles and his new relationship for the royal family. Our first guest and our last guest, here they are today. They may come from a different class structure, especially this man. <laughs> there must be a cowgirl in this relationship somewhere. <laughs> we're we're going to get to you guys in a little while. But all of our guests here are here today because they say his ex is ruining our relationship. Please welcome them all to the show. Okay, Lori and Greg, you're our first guest. Now, Greg, you have, Lori, are you married to Lori or is she your girlfriend? Girlfriend. Girlfriend, but you do have an ex-wife? Right. Are well, you still married? she's still my wife. Yeah. Well, she's still your wife. Right. Oh, so she's not even your ex yet, but you're separated, I hope. Right. Well, that, that, that's a good start. <laughs> okay. How long have you been separated from your wife? About six months now. Six months. And how long have you been with Lori? About five. Five months. So this, th your relationship with her started after you separated from your wife. Right. How is your wife taking the fact that you have someone new in your life? How is she reacting to well, it? I really don't care how she's taking it. Cause she already, she had somebody, I called her in the house with two people, two guys. I caught, her, I caught her in my trailer with two guys. At the same time? A black guy and a white guy. And her sister was in the room with them. And so was Princess Di. <laughs> <laughs> now, Laura, you're, uh, uh, how old are you? 16. You're, you're, you're 16 years old. <laughs> precocious child you are involved with a married man now aren't you right but that wasn't the point of it i mean she acts like i broke up their relationship and stuff and you didn't and no i didn't what does she do that affects your i mean relationship? she went on with a guy she went on with a guy lived with him and you know she i guess she expects to eat her cake and you know have it everything her way eat her and, cake and have everything <laughs> her way that's I mean, a very she famous saying <laughs> You remember? No, uh, I mean she's been Oh no, no, I just there me. was a guest on the show one time that says that said you do the crime, you speak your mind. Remember that? <laughs> so that that is going into our book of famous quotations. But she does not like you, obviously, right? No, she don't. I don't like her neither, and I really don't care what she thinks or what she don't think. I'm Have here to tell her today. The girl has pulled a knife out on me. She didn't use it. She's threatened me and everything else. And she thinks I broke up her relationship with him. I'm sorry, what they had together was them. I'm a new person. I do what I want to do. She's not going to tell me what to do. Okay. Period. And she's going to be so As I said, the stories are just like Princess Di and Prince Charles. <laughs> right. <laughs> Greg, you do want to divorce your wife, though, right? Yeah, I'm getting her with adultery, though. You're going to hit her with adultery? About two weeks ago, she wanted me to come up to the courthouse and sign separation papers. Okay. But, but I'm getting her with adultery. So, uh, with you guys, I could... Mm. Nah. <laughs> nah. It didn't, it didn't hurt me that much because I, I had a feeling that something was going on because I was living over my father's house. Right. And every time I try to come over there... Well, tell me this. You mean... You mean it wouldn't have bothered you if it was one guy, but two guys really matter? No, it bothered me, but it just didn't hurt me as much because I figured something like that was going on. Because okay. every time I come to the trailer, she wouldn't open the door. She had sheets on the windows. Okay, well, what everything. did she... What did... So I guess I was... I guess, I guess I was the See, dummy. See, just remember, folks, Princess Di may live in Buckingham Palace. They live in a trailer. 
But it's the same story. Just keep that in your mind as I go get your wife. Well, she's not ex yet. Well, she is. Well, they're separated, she is. She's but they're not divorced. Yeah. Your ex is Donna. She's in the hallway. Donna, come, come with me. Put my hand there. Come with me. There you go. You just follow me. I will walk you through all the curtains. There's nothing in front of you. Donna, you come here today to see people that you know. You're all right. Just come your way. Watch out. There's one step here. One step. Go ahead. And I'm going to have you sit right over here. Thank you. And just step right back. Donna. Ah, oh, boy. Donna, you know you're here today to see people that you know. Do you know who you're here to see? No. Okay, take off your blindfold. Say hi. <laughs> oh, my God. Donna, you, you recognize those people, yeah, right? Yes, yeah. And who are they? My ex-husband. Well, he husband. says you're not divorced yet, right? No. But you, you've already started calling him your ex? Yes. Are, are you over it? Are you really... Uh, and you said in your mind that he is going to be your ex? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm? Uh, yes. That, that looked like... It was somewhere between constipation and yes. <laughs> um... Well, they, he, he thinks that you're not over it, and so does... You know he's involved with somebody else now, right? Yes. Okay. Well, he, he brought you here today because... And she brought you here today because... Well, you tell them what you, what you wanted to tell her. Nah, I'm just here today because I'm, I'm just sick and tired of, you know... You act nice to me when your parents ain't around and stuff, but when your parents are around, I'm called all these names and stuff, and I, I bet you, pull, you pulled out a knife on me and everything, which, you know, that wasn't right, you know? You should have came to me, period, come to me. I pulled a knife out on you because you, you were pulled in a knife out on there. me. But what, what did your husband find in his trailer then? It doesn't matter. What? You was it in the room matter. with two... I mean, you was never two guys. It doesn't matter. Right, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. To let you know. It doesn't matter. Hold on. Period. I'm getting tired of putting up with you. Okay, hold on. You weren't even living there at the time. Period. But wait a second. The point isn't... And she, what? No, but she always wants to fight and everything. Right. She can't handle it. She's 21 years old. I'm 16. I can handle more than what she can handle. But I still... No, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. No. Did you all go through metal detectors before you came here today? Yes. All right. But these earrings went through? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Now, calm down. Why did you pull... Uh, you pulled a knife on her? That's very serious, you know, and you shouldn't do that because sometimes, even if she tripped and fell, you could... You, if you didn't mean to use the knife, it's a dangerous weapon. You understand that, right? Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't do something like that. I warned her time and time again. She didn't take my advice, so I took it to Whatever. Her. You well, didn't you know it. what? I give advice on this show all the time, and people never take it, but I don't pull knives on them. Okay? Okay, so just let's, you should get over that. Now, but you're, you know, wouldn't you be much healthier for you to just get on with your life? I have moved on. Okay, so you're willing to say to them, go off. You moved your... on, but yes, you're going to come to his year. work. Yes, oh, you're you're you, I am. But you're going to come to his work and all this other stuff. You don't need to come to my boyfriend's work. Period. I can come wherever Period. I want to. Well, whatever. Don't you dare call him. Place, okay? Don't you dare call him. He's going to come to my father's house. Well, maybe he is working. So, well, I am too. Well, good. Well, yeah, I'm good for you. You're going to call him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. You're going to come to my father's house. Hold him. Boo-hooing for my sister. My okay. family don't want nothing to do with you. you. Right? Stay the hell away I'm from fine. my father's I'm house. Fine, I'm fine. Like I said, just like Princess Diana.